Hey everyone, what I have here is the Microsoft Pro 6. I'm a big fan of this laptop tablet hybrid. It's not the perfect device, but I think it's fantastic in many situations. But when this was released last year, many people were very annoyed that it didn't have a Type-C connection. But as I am going to show you today, there is a way to charge it using a Type-C connection. And this Type-C connection simply goes into a compatible power delivery charger and it means that you don't have to carry around the official power brick. It does make it a, a much more versatile device in my opinion. So let's bring over the overhead camera. I want to show you the cable, I want to show you the power adapter that I purchased and then I want to do a, a series of tests. Now I've done these tests already but I want to bring out the power meter and show you exactly the charging rate that you can get through this cable and compare it to the Surface Dock and to the official power adapter. So here I am with my Surface Pro 6. I'm sure you're all aware of what that looks like. This is what you want to see. This is a Type-C to Surface Connect cable. Connects very easily. It's not charging just now, as you can see. It is six feet long, just under two meters. It does have a cable tie there, but there really isn't much to it. But it's pretty fantastic what this allows you to do. This cable is from a company called Jago Tech. And this is the box it comes with. Also comes with this help and instruction guide. But it really doesn't tell you anything that you shouldn't already know. You should know, know all this before you order. Now the company were very kind enough to send me this out. Because I emailed them with some questions. And they said they would send me out for testing. And you can see the power delivery requirements there. 15 volts, 29 watts is the minimum power requirement but they do recommend 45 watts which is understandable because the official power adapter requires 44. It's compatible with the Surface Book, Surface Laptop, Surface Pro 4, 5 and 6. So yeah, pretty cool. Now on the official website and I, I will leave a link to this, you can see that it retails at only $24.99. That's a very good price for a cable like this. Um, so yeah, I think it's uh, pretty fair and it's got free world worldwide shipping as well. They sent mines out and I got it within about a week or so. So I'll leave a link to this page and you can read more about the requirements and all that. This company, J-Code Tech, also sells power delivery chargers and power banks. I was going to buy one from them, but the reason I didn't is because I wanted an adapter that also had an additional uh, USB port for charging my phone and camera, etc. So I opted for this one. This one has a UK and EU and US power adapter, but it's also got the Quick Charge 3.0 port and uh, a standard USB 2.0 port. So yeah, that's why I opted for that one. And it was fairly cheap and I wanted the next day delivery. I didn't want to wait. And this is it here. There was actually another one like this. There was one that was like £10 more expensive and it had a lot of reviews at the time. This looked exactly the same. And I would say the same to you. If you see this one from another company and it's cheaper, go with the one that's cheapest. It's probably um, the exact same products, just being rebranded by someone else. And you can see it's got the power delivery, aka Type-C. It's got Quick Charge 3.0 and it's got a standard USB 2.0 port. Now I have done a lot of power tests with this already uh, for the purpose of an Amazon review and for, well, just for testing to see how it all worked. I found that this can charge the Surface Connect and charge my phone and deliver very fast charging rates like 2.5 amps or something like that. When I also charge my camera, the quick charge port did it did slow down a little bit, but that's because the total power delivery for this is 65 watts. So if you're delivering 45 watts, with the Type-C cable, the one which I'm going to show you in a second, and you're charging your phone, then there's not as much left for the last port. But for how I'm using it, it, this is perfect. Instead of taking the official power brick and a USB charger for my phone, I just take this now. So I'm going to a conference next month. It means I don't have to take this about with me. I just take this. Okay, what I want to do now is show you this in practice because I think it would be pointless to just show you the cable and then say, this is fantastic. I want to show you exactly how this works. So, we have, if I can show you this, uh, I've got a lot of cables on my table here, so I do apologize. So, um, this is the official power adapter. This is what you get in the UK when you buy the Surface Pro 6. I'll connect it up. Should see a white light here at one point. Are we seeing it? Have I connected the right cable? I hope I have. 
Um, so this is the official, there you go, there's the white charging light. This is the official power cable, and you can see I'm getting about 35 watts there. Um, if I go back to it, it should hopefully show. 33 watts. Now, I've tested this before, and it was kind of jumping around between about 35 to about 41 watts. It was going up and down, and it will depend on how much charge you have in your Surface Pro as well. But I was getting about 35 to about 41. But you can see there, it's about 34 right now. It does go up and down. When I tested this last time, it was a little bit higher, but my power was down about 30% right now. So I think it's about 60 or so, I think. Yeah, 54. So, um, yeah, you should you should maybe get a, a slightly faster charge if your battery uh, is down. Now, that is the official charger. And I'm hitting uh, the microphone. I do apologize. What I'd like to show you now is the Surface Dock. Now, the Surface Dock is a big, heavy thing. It's huge um, because it's got all those USB ports and needs to power multiple monitors, etc. So it should be no surprise that this also um, delivers more power. So if I get this in, if I can get this. There we go. The little light is charging. And again, we've not got the official power um, cable now, the one provided with the laptop, we've got the, the Surface Dock. And this one, well, this one provides a lot of a, uh, a lot of power and there it's there. Now, right now, this is showing, what, 37 watts. When the Surface Pro was down and it was, you know, it was uh, down like 30% or so, I was getting, you know, anything between 50 watts and about 67 watts. It was really, 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 really fast charging. Um, so when I checked, uh, when I compared these all before, when it, when the battery was lower, I was getting maybe 35 to 40 with the official power charger, and I was getting between uh, 50 and, you know, like 65, 70, that kind of thing, with uh, the Surface Dock. So there was a big difference. Now, as you can see, over 50%, yeah, it's not so much. But um, what I would want to show you now is what we're all here for. So, as I said, uh, to use this cable, you do need a, a power delivery charger, such as this. You can also power, uh, charge from some power banks, from some, um, from, if I can get this here, sorry, from uh, some um, USB hubs and Thunderbolt hubs and things like that. Some of them have power delivery as well. Some monitors are starting to have it as well now. Um, but if I can get this on. Hopefully we'll see this up. And you can see there, it was about 34 watts, 35 watts. Now, I, I mean, I've said this a few times, but when the battery was down below 30%, I was getting, you know, in comparison between the official charger over here, away to the left-hand side here, um, between the, the Type-C cable with the power charger, I was getting about one or two extra watts on average with this. With the Surface Dock, between 0 and 50%, or at least around the 30% mark, the official Surface Dock, the big brick, the massive brick, that was getting between 50 and 60. So this thing is absolutely, yeah, it's a demon. But if you're comparing this Type-C cable to the official charger, it's not only just as good, it's slightly better. And I'm not sure how, I'm not sure how they've managed to do it, but this can deliver one or two extra watts to your Surface Pro. So it's, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing that I can replace a power brick with a charger such as this. I've also got a port to charge my phone and I've also got a port to charge a camera. And that's everything I need when I go away to a conference. I'll take a camera with me. I can charge my phone. I can charge my Surface Pro all at the same time. It really is fantastic. And is that lighting up there? It should. Oh, I've not got it plugged in now. I was wondering why that light wasn't on there. Um, but yeah, you can see there, it's, it's magnetic. It works just like any other Surface Connect cable. So it is pretty fantastic. I can highly recommend it. And I'm not just saying that because it was sent to me for testing. I've demonstrated that you can see there when, when this cable is plugged into a power charger that works and, and do shop around and do look at reviews on Amazon and other places because some of these do get bad reviews but this one did seem to be okay it can deliver 65 watts but I only needed 45 but um, yes this with this cable 
and the Surface Pro is pretty fantastic. So you should now have a good understanding of how this works, how I can charge my Surface Pro with what looks like a standard USB charger. And I think this is a fantastic solution, I really do. I do have the official charger, I will use it at home. I do have the Surface Dock, which is great for me for connecting to monitors, for connecting multiple USB ports, etc. The reason I bought this is for traveling. I'll be taking my Surface Pro with me for conferences, for weekends away and things like that. And rather than take this larger power adapter, which I've grabbed at the same time as the, the power meter, but rather than take the official power adapter, I can just take this USB charger and this USB Type-C to connect cable. And I can also use this to charge my phone and a camera. It just makes things lighter for me. It's just more practical. And as I showed there, you get the same power delivery as the official power adapter. In fact, in my test, I was getting about one or two watts normally. Um, the Surface Dock is certainly the fastest charger, but in comparison, you know, this is so much lighter and so much more practical. Now, I haven't really talked about this yet, but it should be said that you can't just put this cable into any charger. Don't put this into, you know, any Type-C port in your laptop or don't put it into a mobile phone charger and think that you can charge your Surface Pro with it. Maybe you can, you know, do a trickle charge, I'm not sure, but you really should be going out and buying this cable with a charger, a charger that can deliver 45 watts. And if you buy a charger such as that or a power bank, what it means is that you can power your Surface Pro, you can charge it up using this thin and light and practical cable. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I'll leave a link to the Jago Tech website. Thanks again to the company for sending me this out for testing. There's maybe other cables out there from other companies, but I'm very happy with this one. I would certainly buy it again, even just as a spare or to keep, you know, somewhere else about the house. It's a, it's a great little accessory and maybe we will see the Surface Pro 7 or 8 adopt Type-C, but if you've got the Surface Pro 4 or 5 or 6, you're probably in the same situ situation as me where you've got the power adapter. But this cable and this type of charger will help you modernize your Surface Pro. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about this, please do leave a comment below. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will speak to you all in the next one. Take care.